friends uh i want to quickly explain a couple of things that uh, you should know as a developer you know when working on projects so i'm going to navigate to uh, github uh, i should have uh, a repository here for example let's see uh okay let's just check um open um or architecture repository on github okay let's see repositories architect i'm just going to click on one of them i mean i assume that uh, you know most of them should have uh, what we call a readme file which is you know what i would want us to talk about today so this is a readme file right the readme file that uh, you know describes what the project is all about right including showing uh, you know how to set up the project how to install and uh, use that project right so we have a sample readme file here uh, the purpose of this uh, video is to explain you know the importance of uh, a readme file and this will be helpful for your initial task please pay attention to the uh, explanation uh, you get from this video okay all right so i have a sample tool here called a readme.so uh, which i would also you know share a link to uh, in the description of this video um readme.so is a tool that you can use to generate a readme file what exactly is a readme file the readme file is a way uh, for you to provide the instructions or detail of a particular project to your users or the contributors of your repository and uh, it's essential right it's essential to any project uh, because it provides you know a clear understanding of what the project does and uh, how to basically use it or how to even contribute uh, to you know that project so what i have here is a simple uh, readme file structure ideally it's an md file as the extension of your readme file and uh, you know it's expected that uh, you know you put in the description of that project you put in the table of content so i just created you know like a standard structure uh, that i would share with you uh, i generated this using a uh, deepseek ai i just uh, you know uh, included a very simple prompt and it gave me this uh, structure and uh, yeah i believe this structure works for you know most of your projects i believe all your projects even right uh, it's detailed right so you have the uh, project title your description table of content uh installation you know if it's a project that uh, would require installation you put like a step-by-step -step guide including showing you know code snippets and all that uh with an md file you can actually do uh most of these things including uh, guidelines uh, on how to contribute to the project the license of the project uh contact information if necessary okay so let's go ahead and uh, see what a raw um md file would look like this is what it looks like this is the raw state right so you write this um it's called markdown right md means uh, markdown so you basically write markdown files uh, using this uh, set of syntax right uh, if you want this to be bold and uh, if you want this to be um a specific heading right so you can have uh, let's let's write some code in here by the way you can do this as well uh, straight in your vs code i would show an example and i'll push it you know to github so you see what it looks like i'm going to take this off this will basically give you like an horizontal rule one two three you get an horizontal rule so you can look at it from here um, take that off it goes off one two three right we'll get that horizontal rule okay so let's take this off first and uh, you see we have the project title let me take this off right now you see it's still a title but it's no longer bold right so this would make it bold right and by the way using this tool you can actually include uh, you know some of these things here so you don't have to uh you know do that manually if you don't want to write the code um this is a simple uh text right so it basically displays as a simple text of course okay so a project uh, uh, a brief uh, description uh, you have a brief uh, descriptive title for your project let's uh, let's give this um yeah let's let's just let's just give this uh, a name so i'm going to say uh sample readme file um for my node project okay or well, let's just call it a node project sampler all right and i would simply say a brief descriptive uh, okay so this is um this is a repository containing a, um, a sample readme file Okay, so I can add more description. So let's just say I've created this sample readme file uh, to teach you how to um, come up with your own uh, readme yeah, files using Markdown. Um, yeah, using Markdown basically. That's fine. 
that's fine so table of contents you know here you basically uh uh, imputes the table of contents for your project if you if you have a structured way of uh, you know wanting to explain what this project is all about right uh, step by step so you can basically use this for you know documentation teaching uh, a specific topic you can use a markdown file to create something like this and uh, have it deployed somewhere right you know in form of a website and uh, you basically have it you know shown this way a lot of tools use it a lot of documentation platform use markdown uh, and not html and yeah we can proceed to uh, you know put in this uh, uh, items here this can be a link so this can be an actual link uh, when you put in uh, you know ash before this section installation uh, you are pointing at you know headings like this right so if i click on installation uh, it basically you know loads that but it kind of like scrolls down to the other section okay so uh, here you can put in links you can put in you know link to the usage link to contributing link to license link to acknowledgement uh, for now we're just pointing at you know those headings so if i click on usage for example you see it brings me to usage um yeah so this is for the table of content this is our horizontal rule this is also heading but uh, i would most likely say this is h2 kind of right if you're a web developer you know what i mean you have h1 which is the first one so you can actually have different um size for your headings right you can see that one two three right okay and of course you can select from here as well um yeah and uh you, if you want to put in like a code uh, sample uh you can simply use the back tick so i can have something like this uh like this right in here i can write code i can say uh, pip uh, install qr code for example so if i scroll down to that section you see i have it here pip install qr code and i can specify the language if i put python it says that's a python script if i put bash it says oh that's a bash script um, depending on the um, preview, um, depending on the preview uh, tool, you will be able to see this highlighted. If it needs highlighting, right, you would see it highlighted. So this is how you specify the language. If it's a JavaScript code, I can simply say JavaScript, right? And in here, I can actually write up JavaScript. So I can say um, so dot log uh, hello world. Yep, just like this. If I have a JavaScript code in here. Okay, so let's take that off for now. Um, yeah, and this is basically how you put, uh, you know, bullets. So you can see example, I have these bulleted items. So this is how you put those bullets. Um, what else? What else do I need to show you here? This is how you put in links. We've seen that before. Uh, okay, so let's let's just take this off for now. Uh, I'm just going to show you a couple of things here. Using this tool, you can just add, you know, these sections as a block, right? It makes it easy for you. You don't need to, you know, spend a lot of time uh, writing this manually but yeah it makes sense that you understand the syntax it makes sense you understand how to write this and how to create this yourself uh, but using this tool be very much uh, helpful i believe so you can actually add uh, an appendix session author section you know um contributing section where you highlight the name of uh, the authors right the contributors uh, we have the demo option here we have the document link and all that so let's let's take everything we have off for now uh let's see okay just going to um include feedback so you see we have like feedback section here if you want to include like a github profile link you see you have adding links to your github profile right uh we have lesson uh lend right just they're just sample blocks license if you want to add a screenshot you can actually screenshot with an image right you can do that like this um you can actually copy like a url and uh, you know we can put that here let's let's go to uh let's check i think i saw one image here so this we have an image there let me copy uh the image address right jump back in here and uh, paste that here so you see we have that uh image shown shown here okay um yeah so we have run local uh, just to show like some sample uh codes uh, snippets we have used by block right to show companies using this uh, repository or this or the code base you have here we have support we have a roadmap you know yeah so we have optimizations so these are just different blocks by the way you can take them off if you don't need them you can take them off just like this take them off uh just like this so this tool will be very helpful uh but it makes sense that you also know how to you know uh, write the code um i am going to paste the previous one that i uh removed so let's take this off okay all right, so let's create uh, a new section there. I'm just going to reset this now. Okay, what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to create a new repository on GitHub. So let's navigate to uh, my accounts. I'm just going to say slash Solomon Marvel. 
uh, let's go ahead and create a new repository here so i would simply click on this new repository uh, let's just call this a readme example okay so i have that uh, repository let's keep it public um, okay uh, we don't need a git ignore let's create a repo okay so i'm going to pull up my terminal uh, in my terminal i'm going to simply uh, navigate to my desktop and uh, make a new directory readme example okay let's open that to vs code now all right so i have vs code opened up let's go ahead and add uh, our readme file so i'm just going to call that uh, readme.md uh, i think i forgot to include the .md extension let's rename that okay and let's add that md okay good okay so um yeah i can proceed to paste this here and remember the code that we have here we need to copy it see paste it inside that file okay i'm going to copy the command i have here let's just paste that um so it says there's an error uh yeah let's get in it git add git commit uh, initial commit okay let's copy this and paste all right so we're going to have this pushed to um you know this uh, repo so if i refresh this page all right so now you see we have that node project sample this is the readme file right loaded up here so at least anybody looking at our repository would understand what our project is all about as well as uh, you know how to perform uh any activity based on our description and our explanations that we have in this readme so yeah um in your task you'll be asked to create a readme file and i would want to see you know something like this for a simple project idea that you have so feel free to uh, come up with something uh super creative right i'll be expecting to see them and yeah let's have fun working on the task all right thanks i'll see you in the next video